voice in the kid. Also, dangerous toys and shopping mall spies. Now in Washington, here is Nightwatch guest anchor, Kenneth Walker. Good morning. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving, but if you're like millions of other Americans, you won't be lingering over the turkey leftovers for long. That's because it's time to go shopping, or is it? Stores are working hard to figure out ways to make the most of a Christmas season that comes amid a recession and a major shift in retailing. We want to look this morning at the busiest shopping day of the year. A little later, we'll find out about some dangerous toys lurking out there, and we'll talk about how far retailers will go to get a leg up on one another. We'll also throw in some entertainment and good food as well. But first, three people join us to discuss the holiday retail forecast. Kate Fitzgerald is a reporter for Advertising Age magazine. She covers retail sales. Howard Davidowitz is chairman of a national retail financial consulting firm. And from New York is Walter Loeb, a former retailer and financial analyst. He is now a consultant to retailers and investors in retail. Welcome, everyone. Well, what's it going to be this year? We're going to... Uh, cash registers going to be ringing? Anyone? I don't think too hard, Ken. I think that we're going to have a pretty flat Christmas. I'm not too excited about this Christmas. Well, what about you in New York, Mr. Lowe? Well, I think that actually we're going to have a 6% increase because... While From last year? For over last year, yes. I believe that it's going to be a better Christmas than many people anticipate because there's a lot of pent-up demand despite the hostile environment that we're in. I think that people are going to come out to the stores to, uh, today and they're going to buy, and they're going to buy very aggressively. They will be aggressive throughout this period. But you have to remember that this Christmas selling period is six days shorter than last year. So it is all concentrated into this very, uh, into 26 days before Christmas. All right, and Ms. Fitzgerald. Ms. Fitzgerald can break the tie. We right. have a one-on-one and, and one and division My here. outlook falls somewhere in between. It really is a retail, it's a year for, uh, going to be a better year for certain retailers and not a good year for others. Uh, the winners, I think, are going to be at the lower end this year. The, um, those that offer lower prices in, in all sorts of items, people can buy more for less because we're in the midst of a recession and people are looking for value. Well, Mr. Davidowitz, why the pessimism here? I think the consumer clock is important. It's what the consumers think. When you own a home and its value is down 30%, when your spouse is out of work, when your job is in danger, when you're not going to get your bonus, when people are living on a street, you don't feel that optimistic. Consumer psychology is very important. And I got to tell you, it's pretty low now. Well, all the surveys, Mr. Loeb, do indicate that consumer confidence is substantially down. What yeah. gives you ba a basis for optimism well, here? Well, let's look at it this way. The consumer is really a sentimentalist. And he wants to give for Christmas. He wants to give to the children, to the wife, to the cat, to the dog. They want to give to everybody a little bit. And I think this year, after two very meager Christmases, I think he wants to give, he's in a gift-giving mood. He won't spend more than last year. But, uh, uh, but it will be, uh, it, uh, but I believe that overall that sales will increase uh, in certain categories. I think it will be aggressive in cosmetics and accessories, children's apparel and lingerie. I think those will be classifications that will certainly have increases this year over last year because they will be small items and he can, they can go a long way. I think I'd, it, I'd like to add about toys that this year for the first time in several years we've seen a slowdown in video game sales. For homes where households that are devoted up to $1,000 for a, um, a very expensive video game system, this year they've probably already got all the video games they need. They might be spending more money on a variety of other items, which is hel it's helping the outlook for the toy industry, which is looking at a 5% increase this year for the first time. Yeah, but I think that toys will be sort of flattish except for Nintendo. And Nintendo is in very little su uh, limited supply with their new uh, games and the new uh, equipment. So I think that toys and ready to wear to me to me look more flattish except for sportswear so a pair women's apparel except for women's sportswear will be in the uh, will have no major increases in this period mr devitter it's if, if if christmas is as bad as you seem to think it might be uh, just what kind of impact do you think that'll have on the uh, national economy for 92. i think the national economy has major problems in 92. uh We've never had an economy with so much debt. We can't even predict what's going to happen with this level of debt. Look, 
In 1980, of the 10 largest discounters in America, five are still around today, and one of those is in Bankruptcy Hills. In 1986, mm. there were three major retail bankruptcies. For fiscal 1990, there were 51 retail bankruptcies mm. for companies with sales over 10 million. Things are not good now, and they're not going to get good in 92. This economy is in trouble. Are we talking double-dip recession? I don't think there's a question about it. I don't see anything that's going to drive this economy, that's going to pay down this debt, and it's going to make America a leader or our people feel confident again. I think we got major problems, structural problems. Yeah, there will be winners this year. And certain retailers, including discounters like Target, even in venture stores recently posted some good results. Toys R Us has had um, good results for the third quarter. Walmart sales are up. Uh, other major retailers and department stores in particular are down. But I think you need to look at the... Well, that's not quite true. Dillard's is doing quite well right now. So, I mean, it's, it's selected department stores are not doing well. And it's really based on geographic locations. We're in a de we are in a recession, in a depression, really, in the Northeast. Right here where I'm living, it's probably, uh, but if you go to Massachusetts, it's very depressing, and if you go to Maine, it's worse. Similarly, I think you'll find pockets like St. Louis and Southern California to be in a depressed state. On the other hand, the Northwest, uh, Oregon, Washington, as well as Texas, Louisiana, and Florida are doing quite well. Well, Mr. Loeb, I'm still not sure what the source of your optimism is. You've just said yourself there's a depression, not a recession, in many areas of the country. And, and, and there, as Mr. Davidowitz pointed out, there's structural problems with the economy. What gives you this basic hope that we're going to spring back here? I think that there's a pain. I feel that based on my monitoring the consumer for the last two months, I see a gradual pickup. I think the comparisons with last year are very easy because last year's Christmas was very depressed. And I think that people who haven't they are going to buy this year in this very, in this period for the Christmas season. The calendar is, is, is very favorable from now to Christmas. The Jewish holidays come early, they give it a boost, and afterwards will be the, 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 uh, the Christmas season, selling season. Even though I it's think, a short season. Well, there's something else, and the retailer is very nervous. We're not talking about profits right now, we're talking about sales. And if by the middle of, of, uh, of uh, uh, December, retailers see some merchandise that has, did not have sufficient sh shelf movement, they're going to take Markdowns discounts. to be well, they're going to take well, 20 percent discount. Let's, let's hold that thought for just a moment. We have to take a break. Uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. It really works, and that's no blarney. For information, call 1-800-A-B-C-D-E-F-G. We're talking about uh, retail shopping for the Christmas holidays, and uh, according to at least one of our panelists, it doesn't look good. Tell me, is, is this the economy I is bad? I think it's both. Uh, our automobile industry is losing billions. That's the biggest factor in GMP. General Motors, one of all is next year in North America. Americans feel like losers to the Japanese. And in a sense, we're not gaining market share. We, we're not paying off all the debt. The U.S. economy, our deficit isn't going down. It's going up. We have very major real problems. There's more unemployment every day. Talk about retail. I read this morning's Wall Street Journal, Zale, America's largest jewelry chain, is on the verge of bankruptcy. This is what's going on. Uh, Mr. Loeb, you were about to kick in here. What was that? I'm just saying, Zale has been in trouble for a long time. Uh, but the fact is that, that I feel that there are certain things that the consumer is buying, and they're buying more aggressively. Look at my tie. I hope you can focus on it. This is, a, uh, I mean, uh, two years ago, no man would have been seen with a tie like this. Did you get that at a discount store? I did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, but it is an Anne Klein tie. And, and, uh, and it is uh, the kind of fashion that we're all wearing today, because today we are more fashionable, and, and ties are are going at 25% in stores. So if it's fashion, if there's some newsworthiness, if there's some excitement, the consumer will buy it. Well, well, I'd, I'd like, like to say one thing about your tie. 
We're in a process of the greatest depression in the menswear industry in history. I'm sure you'd agree with that one. Menswear, is, we are in a depression in the menswear business, Walter. So your tie is lovely, but the menswear <laughs> business is a debacle. But I'd like to talk about consumers again. You're talking about the economy. You're talking about the automobile industry. I'm talking about people this holiday season. And after all two years of bad news, last year we had the war. People were shipping off to the Persian Gulf before Christmas. A lot of those people are back this year, and they're they're ready to spend. They're ready to relax. And even if they don't necessarily have the money, they're not going to hold off. Well, even if even if uh, if people do spend this year, uh, are they likely to save a lot more than you know, they they're were? likely to charge it on their credit cards, which are are in widely uh, widely available to everyone. Their retailers are offering all kinds of great credit extensions this year. All the major retailers, including Sears, are offering uh, no payments until as far away as May. And for people that are unemployed, who are feeling badly about their futures, that's an incentive to get out there and buy stuff now, whether or not they can afford it. Even which if you're I think unemployed. Is, yeah, I think that it's going to drive sales. And I'm not saying it's a great idea. Hmm. In fact, it contributes to exactly what Mr. Davidovitz is talking about in terms of deficit and economic problems. But still, we're looking at the reality of people forming lines today outside Kmart, Target, Walmart going to buy stuff. That, that'll be a surprise. Mr. Davidowitz, uh, Mr. Loeb in New York seems to think that Christmas sales will be up around 6% over last year. Now, you think they'll be down. Any idea how much? I think the sales will be flat and the profits will be worse because retailers, as we speak, are promoting more than they've ever done early because of the shortened season. It's going to cost retailers more to do the same dollars they did last year. Look, last year we were in the Gulf War. It was a disaster. People went away, as Amy said. As we talk this minute, everybody's back. Let me tell you what's going on in November. Retail sales are lousy as we speak. When is all the good stuff going to start? It's not starting now. How now, I agree it's going to come late, but it's going to be very promotional and very expensive to do that business and lots of markdowns, and the dollars are not going to be there. See, when you mark it down, it's hard to do the total dollars if you're a retailer because you sell more units but for less. That's simply how the arithmetic works. Mr. Loeb, when do the good times start rolling? Howard is mistaken. November was not as bad as he is saying because he is overlooking the fact that there are six days less pre-Christmas pre selling period than last year. And as a result of it, November is going to be down by 3% or so. But the December selling period is going to be strong, and it is going to be up, as I said, 6% or 3% in real terms. That is inflation adjusted. And I believe that as a result, and it will be the result of promotional activity. I also believe, despite Howard's uh, uh, very negative claim, that we are going to have profits that will be up about 10%. Because last year, the high inventories killed the retailers. This year, inventories are very tightly under control, and I believe as a result of it, if a consumer doesn't shop immediately, they're going to miss out on the good, good items, and retailers will not have any, any unusually heavy markdowns. But they key, will take markdowns, but they will not take unusually heavy markdowns. A key to, to looking at the, uh, the whole retail scene, though, is, um, is it varies quite a bit, and you'll see more people buying at the low end which means it's, it's good news for quite a few retailers who are marketing to that audience. Your high-end retailers and, up, and upscale department stores are not going to have as good a year. Well, if the, if the season is going to be as bad as you think, Mr. Davidowitz, does that mean that, uh, as Mr. Loeb pointed out, they're not going to bring their prices down? Or, or you think they're going to bring their prices down more? They're bringing their prices down right now. Macy's is running more one-day sales than it ever ran. As we speak, retailers are promoting like crazy because they're so fearful Consumer confidence just dropped 12 or 13 percent. It's the biggest drop I can ever remember. Retailers are panicked and they're promoting now. They're not waiting. Well, on that note, we'll have to leave it there and we'll see as the next few days go by. Thanks for joining us. Channel 2's Mike Chalinas reports.